Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's another beautiful day here in Washington State. Good to be home, beautiful weather. Uh, bass are biting, that's what I hear. But uh, yeah, I wanted to bring you guys a little one year update on one of my more popular video subjects I have done on the channel. Um, that being the Leatherman Free T4. This guy. So I'll show you some more uh, up-close shots of this here in a bit, but first I want to talk a little bit about the history of it, um, my history with it. So, uh, like I said, I bought it about a year ago. I bought it in November of last year, so we're getting close to that time. And picked it up at my local sporting goods store for, I think it was like 60, 60 something bucks after tax. And it was a blind purchase. I didn't, I didn't look up any videos. I didn't read anything about it um, prior to buying it. I just kind of went in there, and I was actually looking to buy a knife, and uh, talked myself out of it. And as I was on my way out the door, I saw this in a little end display case with all the other free series tools, and um, asked to see it. And they had it in this green. And I was like, man, I'm sold. At the time, I was carrying. Uh, a SOG Aegis uh, AT, that's right, assisted um, the Aegis AT, I made a video on that a long time ago, if you want to check that video out I'll put it up here um, that was a good knife, is a good knife, I still have that knife um, but I was carrying that for a long time when I was, I went through an assisted phase but I was carrying that for a long time and it matched this and, and that, yeah anyways I bought it long story short I bought it and didn't really realize the full potential of the tool the first couple months of owning it it wasn't until I started to build the fence on our property um, that's actually behind me I have the door to this thing closed right now but uh, it's like a hundred and fifty one foot fence um, one thing I did do to it when I first bought it was I uh, flame bronzed the pocket clip as you can see give you an up close look on that I've had to redo the flame bronzing a couple times which is pretty common uh, but you can see it's got some nice wear on it it's a little distorted because I have had to I've bent out the pocket clip twice now and I've had to heat it up and rebend it not the greatest pocket clip I've ever experienced um, but it's not bad and if you know what you're doing, you take it off, you heat it up, you bend it back, you can get quite a bit of life out of these pocket clips. So, um, trying to think of what else. It's just got, it's got character now. It's really grown on me. I use this thing every single day now. Um, I've used pretty much every single tool on this. Probably save for the all in the file. Other than that, everything else gets used, um, you know, throughout the week. The scissors get used, especially when I'm fishing. They're great scissors. They cut braid and they cut fluorocarbon. I mean, they cut through pretty much anything you throw at them. Um, and everything is really easily accessible. There's the scissors. Yeah, this is probably the tool that gets used the most is, is the scissors. The scissors... Phillips head, which is a really good Phillips head. There we go. I find this works really well when I'm working on small engines, stuff like that, like mowers. Check out right beside me. The one tool that doesn't get a lot of use on this multi-tool is the knife, and uh, that's just because I carry a dedicated knife with me at all times. Um, the knife on this tool is pretty beefy. We'll take a look at it. It does lock into place, of course, all the tools lock into place. It's got a really utilitarian blade shape. Thick stock, for what it is. 420HC, which is a decent steel. And uh, it's pretty... I've had to put my own edge on here. Um, the factory edge wasn't the greatest, to be 100% honest. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's been a great tool. No failures, no no mechanical hiccups. Um, if you use all the tools for what they're supposed to be used for, this thing will probably last you a long time. 
Um, I don't foresee anything going wrong with this thing as long as I keep treating it the way I have been treating it. Um, I guess the last little thing I want to mention is, I'm surprised I haven't lost it yet, but I guess that speaks to the design of the tool, is the tweezers. Oh god, how am I going to do this? The tweezers. Focus, there we go. Tweezers are right here. I haven't lost them yet. But they do fit really snugly down in to that slot. And they don't move around. So, so yeah, if you're in the market for an in-pocket multi-tool, maybe you uh, want to consider the Leatherman Free T4. It's pretty cool. I dig it. And they make it in all different colors, which is kind of cool too. So, yeah. So, yeah, I would have to say that this is one of the most important parts of my everyday carry now. Just a really cool tool, and uh, it's treated me well. So, that's my thoughts on it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I try to keep it somewhat short. Um, try not to ramble too much. If you want to check out the original video on this multi-tool, I will leave the link up here. Um, yeah, thanks for the continued support in the channel. It means a lot. See you on the next one.